Hey guys, so I wanted to come through and do a quick video on how I am going to do my bearings. As I stated in my last video, I do think that I suffer from some heat damage and also some color damage. I colored my hair three times last year and the last time was at the end of September and that's when I really noticed that the crown of my hair was really really loose and in the front the curls have become really really loose as well and I actually do not like that my curls are so loose so I want to try the beer rinse because I have heard so many things about it and I want to see if it's going to help tighten my curls up a little bit. Um, also, in my last video, I did tell you guys that I wanted to modify my curly girl method. And by this, um, what I mean by modify is I wanted to change something in the routine that I normally do. And so what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to shampoo my hair once a month with regular shampoo. And I purchased Shea Moisture's Mango and Carrot Extra Nourishing Kids Shampoo. And this is what the bottle looks like. Um, basically, I'm just going to dilute it in water so it doesn't feel like it's gripping my hair because that's typically why I went to the Curly Girl Method is because I felt shampoo was gripping my hair out a lot. So I'm going to shampoo my hair right now and when I come back, I'm going to show you the loose areas in which I think I've got the damage and then I'll do another segment of the video where I show you where I actually do the beer rinse. So uh, you guys stick with me and I will be back so I can show you the result of my hair being washed and what the curls look like. Okay guys so I am back. I just finished washing my hair. This is my hair with no product. Um, as you can see, I do get a lot of shrinkage. I know some of you are probably looking like, where is the damage? It doesn't look like she has damage. But I'll show you the areas where the curl pattern is the loosest. And we'll start here in the front. I'm just going to clip this back. So this is kind of what the front looks like. And if you can tell here, right in the ends, it's kind of, it's very loose. And what I'll do at the end of this video is I will kind of show you like before and after pictures of like last year when I would do wash and goes how tight the curl was versus what it looks like now. So this is kind of the looseness here in the front so you guys can see. That's that one side. And I'll let you see this on this side here. And this is um, the front of the left side of my head. And as you can see here as well, the curl is very loose. Right in here. It's very loose. Um, another area that the curls are very loose in is going to be right here in the crown of my head. Um, and the, the, the hair is loose in the back. But I'm okay with that. That doesn't really bother me. But my hair gets very limp now when I do my um, twist outs. And I really, really, really dislike that. So here's kind of the hair and the crown of my head. And as you can see, right at the ends here as well, it's loose. And I guess I really do not like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this beer rinse so that you guys can see um, if my curl reverts back and I can see if my curl reverts back as well. So give me about one minute to set that up and I will be right back with you guys. Okay guys, I'm done rinsing and I'm trying to see if I notice a difference and I can't really tell. So I don't wanna be deceiving and be like oh yeah I saw a major difference I I honestly can't tell I'd have to probably do it again to be able to give you an honest review on if the beer rinse work um, again I'll kind of show you um, the heat damaged areas and I don't know if you got you guys can see this I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see it but that's just how loose, like I said, it is in the front. And it used to be 
so much tighter. I had a lot more shrinkage in in the front of my head. Um, you know, before I felt like I got heat damage, and it gets really loose right in these areas. It's really stringy there. Um, and it's kind of so you can see it a little bit closer. It's just, I don't know. It's just very loose. And it is um, very limp when I do my twist out. So I can't really tell you um, if I notice anything. And if you can see over here on the side, you can see right here in the root area where it is loose. It's almost stick straight. So, I have to do it again. I don't think it it held or if it worked. So, I'll probably just go ahead and twist my hair up for a twist out. And um, I will do another beer rinse at another time. I guess I'm not feeling any difference or feel good about it. So, I hope this was kind of helpful for you guys. Um, I will come back later on. This week and do a tutorial on a twist out and uh, twisted girl. So basically, a twist out with perm rods on the end. I saw this from another YouTuber, so I'm gonna try it out on myself and hopefully it comes out just as good or not even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave your comments, um, questions whatever you may feel you need to ask me and I will do my best to respond back. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.